Okay, these are a pair of 22 Marlins. And uh, one's an older one and one's a newer one. And it's actually, you can tell on the older one, they used to put a little bit of engraving on it. You can see on a stock. And here's Putin hanging out. And uh, he's laying on it. So he's going to tell you all about it anyway. But it hold a, the, newer, the newer one actually holds a couple less rounds. But these are one of the best things to get because of price. Because um, they used to be like 99 bucks. Sometimes you get them on sale for $99. This is just a Marlin tube feed. And you know, you fill, you fill it in from the tube down here. You just drop them in. You just unscrew this. And this pulls out. And you just drop them in there. That's all. One, two, three. Just keep dropping them in. And then you put this back. And you just give it a little turn, push it in a little turn, it hooks on there. And you can see the older version, there's a couple more rounds. See, this was a little bit shorter, so this one holds a couple more rounds. So actually, I put a, um, now this is not a really super good scope, but it's a really good scope for a 22. It's a Deerfield, I don't know, I probably paid 25 bucks for it. And I always put these covers on them, you could see through them, you know. But... It's like I just keep the dirt off the scope. I always put these covers on them to protect them. And they're not much money. It's a little extra insurance to keep the scope in good condition. But I don't like using the um, scopes that comes with these things. They're too small. This is actually more like for a real full-size rifle. But I just got a cheap one. And you'll never break it with this thing because there's no recoil in the, um, the 22. And you notice these type of sights underneath here. These are the type you can see under the scope, and you can use the iron sights too. So I always set my, pretty much always set my rifles up like that. I always have it where you can use either one, because I never really trust scopes that much, even if they're good ones. And they could break, you know, that's the deal. So, uh, but this is just a plain Marlin. It's not a Ruger. It's not a Ruger 10-22. Just a Marlin, so. And, uh. He's uh, he's looking at it, so he's checking it out. So he wants to know what that is. So, too bad you couldn't teach cats to shoot; they'd be all right anyway. <laughs> but anyway, this is uh, this is a good deal. These are good deals. Uh, the Ruger 10-22 has got a lot of more accessories for it, but this plain old Marlin's pretty damn good too. So I recommend one of these deals too. And I'd recommend if you put this, put a scope on it. You don't need an expensive one. They usually come with a scope, but they're not that great. You get, an, uh, you get another scope on sale for a full-size rifle. Picks up a lot more light. And set them up with the mounts. You can use the iron sights, too. And the thing I like about it, you know, it holds a lot of rounds. Uh, I forgot what this, how many is this holds, but the newer one holds two less than the old one. So I like the old one better. So Very reliable, though. And you can actually pick up the... Um, hyper velocities with the uh, 10 tw the 22s which are pretty strong you know the hyper velocities aren't too bad too 22 ammunition's gotten better and better